Hello everyone, my name is Sacred Tyrant and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Rise of Insanity I have no idea what this game is about all I know is it's an indie horror warning everyone let's go get straight into it Relax, and calm down, calm all your senses. My name is Dr. Stephen Dowd. You are here because your disorders started to get out of control. <clears throat> you ceased to behave normally, and disturbing thoughts took control of you. You will undergo my original therapy. I will show you the film I created. And you will tell me what feelings you have while watching it. And if you saw anything worrying. Quite an interesting video. Oh, I'm just starting up, fair enough. Patient Edward. One primary interview, two initial diagnosis, three test new therapy, four waiting for new results. <clears throat> the patient's data. Edward, 41 years old, day September 1st. I know Edward as far back as I remember. He worked as a gardener in our neighborhood. From the preliminary interview, I got to know that he suffers from a dream disorder. He has constant nightmares and can't sleep well as well as a memory disorder. Sometimes he doesn't remember what happened a couple of days or hours ago. I have some suspicions connected with this case, but it's too early for the detailed diagnosis. Hmm. So I think this game is about something to do with um Ooh, candy cane ball. Um something to do with therapists and whatnot an experiment. Ducky. Oh yeah. I like Ducky. Breeding birds and bird taxidermy by Richard Birdman. All the best on your seventh birthday. Happy birthday, Stephen. Dad. Hmm. Didn't mean to close out. Dr. Donwell launches his new experimental treatment method.
don't think it's that good of a treatment method if it's got blood on it, but oh, I know. Crane soon did our cross. Yeah, I don't know exactly how scary this is gonna be. The family's tragedy. A mother and child were murdered, and the violator was. I never really. Well, I think that a lot sometimes. Like, I don't know how scary a game is gonna be, and it turns out to be absolutely terrifying. So we'll just see. Madness, so funny. If I said that right, I'm not too sure. Um, that looks like the way you need to go, so... Head down here. <clears throat> not a crime tape, like. That looks important. But can I open it? Dear Mrs. Dowell, I would like to remind you that you gave me a free hand in the development of one part of the garden. Therefore, my decision was mainly a plan. Dahlias. I have acquainted them with cinematic flowers, clematis flowers, sorry. I've shown everything with white poppies. You will be delighted, Edward. Moldy ass Please fruit. Turn off the TV. It's gonna be stormy. Hmm. English B, Math Max A, Science A, PE B, Ethics A. Well, kids, you passed one of the most hardest things, in my opinion, <laughs> being maths and science. I never passed math. Sweetheart, remember that you are on duty today. No, I don't think I will turn the TV off. Okay, I guess I will have to turn the TV off after walking upstairs. You happy? Oh, you are happy. Phone ring, ring, ring. Maybe. Patient Edward 41. Day September 11th. Patient has told me about his dreams where he tries to murder his wife and child. As far as he said before, he's a bachelor and he hasn't said anything about children. It could be some traumatic memory from his childhood. I have to get to know about it during our next meeting. It is a harder case than I expected. Some symptoms indicate that the patient can possess a multiple personality. But these are only suspicions. I have to ask my friend, Abraham. Abraham Lincoln, maybe? So if you can possess multiple personalities, alcohol effect is a drug effect. Hmm. I apologize for not having written this so long. I was occupied with family and work matters and didn't have enough time. I trust that you are okay. How is your wife, Berta? I have currently had to have a case of certain patient, Edward Smeard. He is 41 years old. He is reporting problems with sleeping and memory. I notice he sometimes has minor tics. There are times when he suddenly and suddenly moves his small finger of his left hand. He told me about a nightmare that has been haunting him for some time. It is the only dream here that he's able to remember. He told me that he had attempted to kill his wife and child in that dream. 
However, he wasn't able to do it. He constantly wakes up before the very end. It is very strange because Edward is actually a bachelor and does not have any children. What do you think of this? My assumption is that these are the beginning of schizophrenia or a multiple personality disorder. However, you're the only one who has more experience in psychopathology. Best regards, Stephen Dowell. Well, if he's got multiple personalities... Oh, God. Don't like the look of this. <clears throat> That's a noisy room. If he's got multiple personalities, then... It would make sense that he's thinking he's got a family and whatnot, I guess. Why is the dog gonna open up from that side and go on this side? You know, yeah, when I see a person just randomly walking down, not a person just randomly walking through a room, I decide to go straight to that room, so, where you at, buddy? Come on, don't be shy. The key to our heart is located where your journey began. The key to her heart is located where your journey began. So does that mean it'll be like back in my office? I don't want any of that, thank you. No thanks. I need to get a face cam, I really do, that was, god, that was such a big jump for my heart. Check eyesight room number six. You got it, buddy. Mother and seven-year-old son murdered. So, is it real then? I thought they were teeth for a second, they're just glasses. Um... Is it just six to nine? There's not like something to do with like I've got to stand at a distance and see what numbers I see. Nah, I was gonna assume it's six to nine. Trust any on this.
Alright, let's give it a go. Excuse me. Okay. Six. Is that six? Was that? Yeah, that's six. Two, nine. Perfect. I thought I had the idea that there could be someone under that, but that does not look like a body. Wait, no, that could be the small child. For oh, no. No match. What are they, teeth? So it was someone under it then. Well, you know, you didn't get it, so jokes on you. Why am I here? What is this? I am bad now. What do the birds even have to do with this? I don't really... There's gotta be some symbolism. Into the line. See, I didn't get really much of a chance to explore. Alright, I'm coming. Jesus Christ. Honey, gain control over him, please. Oh, this is what I've seen on the air. Uh... Well, this is what we're seeing on the main menu. Someone was sitting right here. I guess that's something. Greenhouse. It's only a cat for a second. Body you be there. Oh God! What are you burying, huh? Can I see? Dog. Am I allowed to know what you were burying? Quite rude to disappear from someone you know when they try to talk to you, and then proceed to throw a shovel in their face. You know. Now you do it again, man. Why? Come on, man. Just want to talk. Well, if you're not gonna talk to me, I'm gonna go talk to whoever's crying. I think I'd rather not, kid. 
and I can't anyway because I can't pick up your ball. No, oh, that looks like it's gonna. Where is the border between a dream and reality? What is our life? Is it is it what is dreamt or what we dream about? Tell me, dear Susan, what would you do if you couldn't sleep? Would you be able to take control over the dream that does not come but haunts you, Eddie? Who is Eddie? And what is this? Name of deceased, Fiat or Duwell. Age seven, sex male, place of death, family home, cause of death, strangulation, sleep. Jesus Christ. Daddy, why did you allow him? That would have been a horrible way to go, strangulation. Aye, what are you doing? Answer this phone, I'm gonna leave here. Daddy. Hopefully. Daddy! He's here! He's back! Wait, so. If the multiple personalities is correct, then that would mean when he's saying, Daddy, he is back. He's talking about my other that. Right, I'll get back to that in a minute, but... He's talking about my other... side. Like, my other personality, so like... I'll change between different personalities and the kid sees as as different people. And that I recognise. I don't know if it's like a unity asset, but I recognise that from Death Park. This might have, might be by the same creators, God knows. Or it might just be a unity asset. Fiora is a very talented child. He is very calm and he has the character of a dreamer. The only thing that disturbs me in his shadowy is his shadowy step, which often appears in the drawing. Oh, shit, sorry. It's probably a character from a comic or something. Nothing to be worried about. Yeah, well... If you know anything about kids... When they start drawing shadow characters... It's... It's usually a bad sign. What... Did you drop there, buddy? Paint never mount. Oh, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. You tell me you need a light. I don't really want to go in there without um knowing if there's going to be anything to protect us. I uh, definitely don't want to go in the basement. Although it might seem like I have to. That's a very wiggly rat. Shield. Fiaro. Cool kid likes his nights. Duck. One of my favorite um, things is dark fantasy, so respect the kid. Right, up, left, right, down. I'm assuming I've got to remember that. And I've already forgotten it, so that's just perfect. No comment on that, except for 
for some reason, every time I see a bald guy with a slim face, I always think of freaking patches. <gasps> Dude's got dinosaur. Also, um... Kind of like a true on. Dear Stephen, my, 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 my wife, sorry, is very well, as usual. Let's move to the essence of that case. You should remember that we have had a similar case in the past. It was the case that you took active part in. We are overworked. You might have forgotten. I think that you should, with the use of suggestion, help your patient to finish the dream. Hype. Hypnosis can be too invasive. Try to ask him about his past. Accepting traumatic events he has experienced could be the starting point and emerging his different selves looking forward to your next letter greetings abraham do i interact with the mirror now maybe oh wait that's a freaking spider i thought it was a freaking crack i wasn't a spider before i don't remember a pulse in So why is this missing fuse then? Disturbing effects of new treatment method. The treatment method for severe psychological disorders by Dr. Stephen Dowell is based on applying strong visual stimuli to the patient. It is aimed at putting the patient in a hypnotic trance during which he sends, stands face to face with his fears and deepest thoughts. The results of the treatment, however, are far from ex expectations so far. Following therapeutic sessions with the doctor, Fulham's patients are plunged in apathy, depression, or experienced epilepsy attacks. Continuing a long time after the appointment, the main association of psychologists is watching Dr. Stephen Dowell with anxiety they plan to meet with the author of this controversial research. So, like, where's this? Is that it? Finally, oh god. Someone tells me that's gonna kill me, but let's find out. Nope. It's not allowed to go through. And the rat's been dead. They're just wires then, so maybe it goes in here. Yeah, ah, here we go. Right, so this is what the... Oh god, it's gone. Well, it was up, left, right, down, wasn't it? Was it inwards? Oh, I don't know. And there's no way to check, I don't think. Oh wait, here we go. Alright, so that one's just upside. Where is it? Oh wait, that needs to go down as well. And there we go. Insert the fuses. Yeah, there we go. Patient Edward 41. Taking some pieces of advice from my friend Abraham, I established that Eddie suffers from a very mild split personality disorder. The other personality hasn't shown yet and hasn't taken him under control. There are only problems with memory and mild tics. I have to think about the kind of therapy I will apply.
So I'm still confused. Am I playing as the therapist? Am I playing as Abraham? Am I playing as like Stephen Dowell? Yeah, when kids draw stuff like that, like I said, bad sign. Always a bad sign. Never trust a kid who draws shadow people in the drones. Ring ding ding. What's it gonna be this time? Hello? Steven? Are you here? Steven? It's Eddie. Nope. What the hell? Okay. Daddy, I'm lost. It was so sad. I lost my figurines. Please find them for me. Your figurines, okay, sure kid. Whatever. Oh, you're absolutely horrifying. So that's what was on the drawing. Oh God, please don't tell me there's someone chasing me. Bird equals sad son. I really did wonder if like Well if it was worth talking about like what I see in them pictures. Because obviously the whole idea of them, of them specific pictures is Iron, is to talk about what you see, and obviously different people see different things in them. One receives 30 stab wounds two days after the child is strangled during sleep. So while she was alive. I've never seen I don't know why when I've seen that I just thought medical but I, it's, I don't know if that's a thing might be medical but go have to look that up after this episode patient Eddie 41 day <laughs> having acquainted with the traumatic Eddie's past life violence in the family and pathology I've decided that I will use a less invasive method of treatment. We can handle without hypnosis. The confrontation with the past and dreams connected with some mild anxiolytics should be enough. I think that finishing the dream, so killing the wife and child can join his split cells. All we need to do is wait and observe. So, in other words, hold up, analyzing your previous letters and observations, I believe that the problem is connected with Smeard, please give it some more thought, I am worried about your, you and your family when I come back from Smeard, I will visit you and we will talk, Abraham, P.S. send your wife and child some place, make sure that they are safe, so he wants me to kill, or whoever he's observing once they like, kill his wife and stuff again I'm guessing which is gonna bring the personalities together I 
That's like the worst observation I've ever heard in my life. I'm sorry, Mr. Ghost. Sorry for disturbing you in the bathroom. Oh, God. <coughs> Duck. Someone further the toilet. Oh, even worse, friggin' shower curtains. You're kind of cute, I'm not going to lie. I like you. I still don't like that um, music box. Still wonder what it means. I'm not sure I mentioned before in the bathroom, but shower curtains Breaking are the absolute news. worst. As the investigation has shown, the police have established that the brutal murder of the family of the famous doctor of psychology was caused by the local gardener, Edward S. Wait, so the gardener killed the family? Who, if I'm playing as him, so he killed my family? Oh, you're a big boy, aren't you? I would say you're the second most creepy. Number one most creepiest has to be the one that got the start. I'm sorry. I'll be on. I'll be on my way. I'm sorry. Um. Oh God. I was gonna say. I'll just be on my way. What? Alright, so I can enjoy the ride, I guess. Oh, my bird now. So I got from the worst roller coaster to being a burb. Again, still don't understand what the burbs mean, but oh well. Because I care. Whatever I did for you, that is. Where am I? What is that? Oh, it's a la- oh god, this is so much worse. He's breathing. Train light equals no monsters, I'm guessing. Looks broken. I don't really fancy going in there to be honest, but 
Hey, I'll do it. I'm sorry. Oh, it's just death. How boring. Alright, so ignoring that. Continue through this way. Sometimes I suffer terribly because I have to restrain myself. When I see you preparing dinner, holding a beautiful knife in your hand, I imagine us. Together with cold steel in your bowels, I look at your beautiful eyes, glazed with tears, and your life slowly fades. I dream of give, giving you a last kiss on your fading lips, Eddie. Is Eddie the gardener then? Maybe? I'm pretty sure I can use that on the done the thing. Oh, jeez. I don't know what that was about. That was sick. Shovel, dirt, notes, shovel boy. Cool. This game makes no sense. Get ass blasted. Dead boy buried in garden. As a result of an ongoing police investigation, the police have found the body of Fiero Dawa, the son of a well-known psychologist, was murdered and buried in a greenhouse on the premises by Gordon Edward S. Mouse? What? Why do I need a mouse for? Again, kid, I don't quite understand what's happening. Oh, they broke my house. Just turn that off. Is that referring to an ego at Reef Bedroom, maybe? Hey, I just can't <laughs> eat Holy... Ah. <sighs> Jesus Christ, man. Well, thank you. That was absolutely horrible. I'm never trusting... Oh, that's blocked off. Boots. Cool. I'm never trusting TVs again. Honestly, that was absolutely... That was a good jump scare. I've got to admit. Quite well done. Got me good. But I'm more afraid that memory may return. What? Patient. Data today is 28th of March. <laughs> March. March. No, 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 no. Weird case. Weird case only. Only experimental methods. Only experimental. <laughs> no. Why him? Why? <laughs> Why him? I don't know. I don't know. Weird case. Weird. Weird case. Is the psychologist going crazy? Is that what I'm meant to understand?
Alright, what's going on in your room? Unforgiven Crow is Animal Psychology by Juliet Simpson. Every morning, two crows named Fort and Memory are released and fly above the world. Again, I don't... I'm sorry, what? I don't... I still don't understand this game, it's so confusing. <laughs> Was I the gardener maybe? And I ended up killing my family? Teddy's third birthday was great. The party was held in our garden. All dishes and desserts were made from the fruits that we picked there. The only thing that got me worried was that Stephen took an active interest in Teddy's mental development. He is only three and his father is already forcing him to learn to read. I have to talk to him. Where is the border between a dream and reality? What is our life? Is it what it is? Dreamt all that we dream about? Tell me, dear Susan, what would you do if you couldn't sleep? Would you be able to take control over the dream that has not come, but haunts you, Eddie? So, I might be wrong about this, but... When she says to gain control over him, is he Eddie? And that's... And he's the gardener, so he ended up killing his kid? Because of the multiple personality thing. That's what I'm understanding anyway from like... Maybe it was something to do with, okay. Oh. Well. Fair. It's something to do with him. Like, going crazy and... Oh, dog. Thank you. So was this just all his doing, like... Was he the... Maybe just saying he was the therapist, he was like... 
basically everyone rolled into one, maybe. Not that that would make sense, but I'm just trying to understand it. doesn't make sense if anyone understands the story that's played it before like has watched me play it and understands it please comment because I, I don't understand it due to, due to many responsibilities I don't have time to take care of our garden I have asked Stephen to help me to hire somebody to help at least that much he can offer that's all I can ask for. I can't stand the medical attempts to make a genius in a child. Stephen is out of line taking our child to hospital and testing with mental health problems. Methods. Mental health development methods is a sick fad. Sometimes I think this marriage was a mistake. I will drive Teddy to his grandma. He could use a little break from his father. Good idea. His father sounds absolutely terrifying. Locked, of course. I haven't really commented, but I like how the kids got a D and D dice. That's pretty cool. Can the towel from the bedroom? I forgot about it completely. Yeah, I can't really get to the bedroom, so... What do you want me to do about that? Oh, this place, right. I'm thinking. Yeah, I just have a massive wardrobe, no clothes, just a towel, a very shrimpy towel just hanging up. Yo, I don't trust this. Doing all right in there. I have mixed feelings about our relation. Stephen is my employer, and I owe him a lot. I know this is not a discussion to be held for a letter. Let's meet in the garden in two days. The usual spot, Edward. You're doing okay, honey. Wife of mine. Who's bringing me this time? Oh boy, back here again. Thank you so much for sending me Dr. Alfred Bennett's publication about the verification of children's IQ. Thanks to it, I have come up with a great idea. I will not. I will let you on in the details. I do not want to jinx it. All I can say is that we will be connected with the increasing IQ of very small children. The initial part of their mental development, it will be revolutionary. Imagine this, the intellectual, intellectual elites developed from the earliest age to advance our world in science. The mankind may witness great discoveries thanks to my research. Greetings, Stephen. Oh, 
Oh, medical butter. How I've missed you. Is there a way to open that box then? Research theme. The test of the therapy increasing the intelligence among children. The subject of the research, Theodore Dowell. The first attempts to increase IQ, I started using suggestion and manipulation method during REM sleep. The subject handled the experiment very well. I began the observation and started the manual visual tests phase. Oh. That looks very faint, like the shadow person the kid's been drawn. So was there a way to open the box back in Fierro's room? Who knows? Is that one of them fortune tellers? Oh cool, it's a puzzle. I love myself puzzles, but... I'll be lying to myself if I said that was true. Burb. Nah, I'm only joking. I do like my puzzles. Sometimes. Right, well, before I do that with the bulb, I want to try and do this, so... Thank you. I was expecting to have to edit that out, but guess not. I'm assuming I'll just take this straight to, was it this room? No, it was the other room. Nope, this one. Yeah, here we go. It's all gone to hell, my entire plan, all of it. Everything was based on suggestion. In a minute. And on an attempt, an attempt to manipulate... Oh my god, stop ringing the phone! In, all, in the REM phase, I was testing on my son, Teddy. I thought it would be harmful. They had nothing to lose. On the contrary, I would be the one to form the first genius in the family created with this method. His marks at school are higher indeed, but he lacks empathy and he started to be afraid of the darkness. My wife forbade me to continue my research. Why did I even attempt to try this on my son? I am abandoning this project and sending your materials back. Thank you for them. I will not leave them anymore. P.S. I am have an interest in patience soon. Regards, Stephen. Oh boy. This interesting patient may be the guy with the multiple personalities.
Yeah, if you don't mind, I'm gonna get a drink before you do any kind of jump scare, so... Thank you for being so kind that you let me take a sip of my drink before. I still don't get it. Alright, I want to quickly check back, see if there's anything before I move on. Right, so I need to cut this chain or something. <laughs> okay, that was nothing, but... I was thinking I'd go get the ball cutters for that. I like the music. It's quite peaceful. It's quite nice. Someone tells me this won't be the end. Nothing ever has a peaceful ending, there's always a catch to horror games. How was that was the idea? Yeah, this seems far too peaceful for a hard game. Oh yes. I should still do something here. Okay. What well, before you sail off in the sand hill? So that's probably what it looks like right now. The strange sessions will tell you how I allowed to obtain the outcomes that my husband so strongly desired. Is a toxic father simulation worth it? Teddy is no longer happy as is as he had been before. He had become very afraid of the darkness. On one hand, this is normal as at his age. I truly don't know. I can rely on Eddie, but he seems strange recently. I have been trying to improve my marriage, but the complete lack of Stephen's interest is just killing me. He is constantly talking about his new treatment method. I feel imprisoned in this relationship. I can't see any future for it. I know it's a bit reckless, but I'm going to feel free of Eddie. I enjoy the interests that he has only given me. So did she leave her husband, maybe? Okay, I don't know if I can take the boat, but I want to, I don't want to pick it up. I think it was a shovel. I want to go see if there is something in the greenhouse to uncover. So I'll be right back once. I'm back there. Welcome back. Um, I went through the greenhouses, both of them. I looked around and could not find any place to dig up. I mean, I don't know if I did pick up a shovel. Doesn't seem like there's anything to do here either. I'll see what happens if I interact with the boat. Oh, so it was an ore that I picked up. 
Right. And now I make my way to Saint Hill. Which is a game I would love to record sometime. Since I know the second game's coming out, but I've got the original second and third game. Probably play that sometime. Oh boy, we're back here. The strange sessions with Teddy have allowed to obtain the outcomes that my husband so strongly desired as a toxic father simulation. Worth it. Teddy is no longer as happy as he had been before. Oh, that's just the same letter. I was just quickly like reading, skimming it. Same letter from before. One last guess. Am I the subject and is Teddy not even real? I knew I opened the trial against Edward about Susan Dowell. I knew I opened the trial against Edward. Oh, door. There's a door there. Oh, so I'm just in prison now, I guess. Why not? Let's see, they got you too, Mr. Phone. Your crimes are ringing when I'm trying to talk about notes is over. Interrogation protocol. In the case of the murder of Susan Dowell and Fiona Dowell, suspect Edward Blurry, the interrogation is conducted by Chief Inspector Samuel Wilson. After many attempts to make contact with the suspect, we still do not have any information. The accused is constantly smiling and indistinctly repeating a sequence that reads, The nightmares have stopped. His gaze is absent. He does not maintain eye contact with the intercluser. Interlocutor, sorry. He probably does not make anything of the position that he's in. Without the presence of a forensic psychologist, we are not able to, without the presence, wait, sorry, we are not able to obtain more information. It is assumed that the case will be closed within the Sunday plea. Okay. So. Good. So maybe you would tell us about your authorial therapy. What do you think, Mr. Dow? Can you hear me? It's better now, isn't it? So, can we continue? Great. Did you know that Susan Dow was pregnant? In the case of the murder of Susan Dow and Ophelia Dow, suspect Edward again blurry. The interrogation is conducted by Inspector Samuel Wilson and forensic psychologist Mrs. Vanessa Green. Thanks to Mrs. Vanessa, we have managed to come into contact with the suspect. It has been established that he is single. He worked as a gardener for the Doll family. He said for the, for the last months he had been taking part in a therapy. It was to cure him from a split personality disorder. He admitted that he had killed his wife and child. But as he had empathised, he had done it in the dream because Dr. Dow told him to do so. 
It had been part of his therapy. We have finally figured out it is necessary to speak with Dr. Dowell. Wait. So, understanding it now, I think I'm finally getting it. The guy, this entire time, oh wait, so John, I know that tomorrow is Bowman shift, so I've hidden the key for the door switch, it's in a safe place. Don't tell him anything, let's drive him nuts for a while. Alright then. So, whoever I was, whoever the guy was, he was single, and that entire time he thought that, that that was his family because of the experiments. And as a result of that, because of the actual dad telling him to kill the people in the dream he ended up doing that in real life something like that I'd, I'd try and make sense of it I don't know I could be wrong, I could be right joke and I absolutely suck at Morse code. In the case of the murder of Susan Dowell and Theodore Dowell, witness Stephen Dowell, the interrogation is conducted by his chief again. The suspect is shocked. There is no rational contact with him. It is understandable in his position. He hasn't said anything new. After the murder, there were many different comments from the psychological word and press. World in the press. The witness had only mentioned that his therapy for curing a mental split disorder had been very ineffective. He hasn't commented on that. So. Again, still don't. Oh, great. I've never understood Morse code, God. Wait. One, two, three. Ah, I don't know. Code. Admittedly, I've had to look it up because I'm terrible at Morse code. So if I think it's three left, two right, seven left. I can't do Morse code, I really can't. I 
don't have the brain power to understand this. So, you plead for your crimes once again, Mr. Telephone. Well, what do you have to say about yourself this time? Listen, Bowman. Give me some creeps, Doctor. I won't manage alone. The examination conducted by Dr. Maslow's team should not be taken into consideration. During the investigation, Dr. Maslow could influence the examination or help his friend, Dr. Bandara says. Dr. Dow was known for his controversial methods of treatment, and the f there is the fact that in the past he has probably led, led a patient's death, he adds. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, so, mm, well, you know, maybe I'm just a, uh... okay, no man, I can't. I hereby open the trial against Edward Perry about Susan Dowell and Theodore Dowell's murder. Do the prosecutor and counsel wish to say anything before the trial has started? I would like to enclose the report about my client's insanity to the evidence, as well as recordings made by Dr. Dowell during the therapy. Mr. Edward, could you tell us about the relation that was between you and Mrs. Susan Dow, Dr. Stephen Dow's wife, that tried to cure you? I would like to enclose documents from Susan Dow's autopsy to the evidence. Basing on these, Your Honor, as well as the jury can get to know that the victim was pregnant with the defendant. The case of the murder of Susan Dowell and Theodore Dowell, suspect Stephen Dowell, the interrogation is conducted by Chief Inspector Samuel Wilson and Forensic Psychologist Mr. Richard Jackson. After the appearance of new evidence, which is Susan Dowell's autopsy protocol, we have come to know that she was in the first month of pregnancy. Furthermore, the father of the child is suspect Edward Blurred. We have established that Stephen had a motive in the skills to meet up with Edward. During interrogation, the suspect showed lack of concept of its enclosure. He experienced ambivalent states from hysteria attacks to complete apathy. During interrogation, the accompanying psychologist came up with the thesis about Dr. Mr. Dowell's insanity, which might have caused by many traumatic experiences in short periods of time. I opened the trial against Stephen Dowell about malpractice against Edward Curry. Susan and Theodore Dow's death. Did the prosecutor and counsel wish to say anything before the trial has started? My client, as a doctor, always takes care about patients' welfare. In the enclosed evidence, Your Honor may read about many difficult cases that have been cured by the defendant. He was trying to cure his protege at any cost to ease the pain. I would like to enclose to the evidence the description of one therapy conducted by the defendant, which, as we can read, also finished with a failure. The girl, with similar illness like Edward, who under the influence of the therapy made suicide. And did the defendant realize that his wife was pregnant? Not with him, but with Edward? I'm so confused. Well, that's just the same.
best not go in there just yet, just in case there's anything else. I'm not doing that again. No thanks. <laughs> I don't trust the TV. What's up, Doc? What have you got for me? Or is it more like you come to see me? Woman receives 30 stab wounds two days after the child is strangled during sleep. The father of the family is the one responsible for the commissions of all these horrible acts. How are you feeling today? Everything's okay? I think it's time to show you something. Let's go to the next room. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. So this must have been how he actually became insane, because of this bloody part at the start of the game. What do you want me to do, like, close the door? Our relationship started to pass away suddenly. Stephen treated me like a lodger, unwanted person, with whom he lived because it was a point of interest. And I, I started to live on memories and projections that were so beautiful in my head. So perfect. Stephen was in them like years before, like when we moved into our new house and we planned to make a big garden only for us. These memories made me stronger, helped me to survive and wait for tomorrow with hope. First time, I thought that maybe I'm only dreaming or the projections about him became ridiculously strong. He came to me like before, smiling, happy, with sparkles in his eyes. Similar situations repeated in the next weeks, and I, instead of looking for their source, was waiting till my loving Stephen came back, just for a while, to feel like before, like years ago. At the beginning of our relationship, Stephen often told me about interesting things from the psychology ward. During his studies, he met with the case of a patient with multiple personalities. I remember well this case because it seemed to be very exciting. So many different personalities in one body that differ in IQ, beliefs, talents, and even visual acuity. I hid my husband's illness to meet with Eddie, his second personality, to feel happy just for a while to fulfill my dreams. During our romance, we often met in the garden. Today, I again talked with Eddie. He is in very bad condition. Stephen's therapy started to even scare him, he says. He must make terrible things to be cured and finally take a breath. As a last resort, I will send this recording to Abraham. So... I was dating the guy's wife, maybe? Oh, chair. This is going to be a long ass video, I've just realized. Thank you. I really wish I knew what was going on in this game.
Let me just exit out of this. Honestly, not bad. Quite enjoyable. I guess. Didn't quite make sense to us, but... If anyone understood this game and can summarize it, please comment down below, because I did not understand a thing about it. Sorry. But thank you so much for watching again. I uh, hope you enjoyed the content. This one was a little hard to get into and really commentate about. But I hope you guys still had a good time watching and if you enjoyed the content today, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video that I do.